What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Resident Horror and today we're going to talk about a game that I have been playing on the low having such a good time with it. This game is Hell Divers 2 but before we get into it to see if I recommend this game to you guys be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button and that notification bell so you don't miss a video. It helps us out in the algorithm to get us out of the bottom of YouTube. Let's go. The story of Helldivers 2 is pretty basic. It is simple. Earth has been invaded by hostile aliens and the United States enlists Helldivers now to go out and to destroy all threats outside of the planet Earth. Now, they want to spread democracy because why? Everybody needs democracy. Everybody wants democracy. There is no peace without democracy. So we are going to spread it by any means necessary. And this theme is pounded into your head over and over again on the battlefield, on the ship, on the media, on everything in this game. We are going to spread democracy no matter what so i don't know you can kind of call it a little propaganda machine as well but this premise is very simple and it lays the foundation for a great war game that can go on and on and on its only limit is based on content if you're dealing with the universe you're dealing with planets you can this game can last forever and that's what i like about it. Did they execute this properly? Yes, this game was executed perfectly. It's a four player co op online game. Even better if you have a squad that communicates, you guys and girls can really have a good time on the battlefield shooting aliens, man. It has never been so much fun. Just going into their peaceful planet and disrupting everything and saying, I'm going to bring you democracy and just blow everything up and say, hey, I'm planting my flag. I'm the new boss in town. You listen to, oh man, what is better than that? What is better than that? I'm glad that we can bring democracy to the world. This game is very customizable. So you can have a good time creating the soldier that you want to be. As far as weapons are concerned, I haven't seen a large amount. It's pretty basic, but the weapons that I've used are good. You have basic assault rifles, your submachine guns, your pistols, your sniper rifles. But that's not where this game shines. This game shines on the support weapons that you can call in. This makes the game explosive, literally. You have lasers that you can call in. You have napalm drops you can call in, cluster bombs, machine gun runs. You have gas that you can drop. You have electric that you can impose. You have support weapons that are awesome, like flamethrowers, rail guns, um, machine guns. All of the stuff that you can have, things you can put on your back. You have turrets that can follow you around the map. You have shields, bubble shields. You have mines. Anything that you can think of, you can utilize for your advancement as far as offense and defense and support in health. So they nailed it on that aspect of weapons and customizations. Your armors also can be somewhat customized. I can say each armor comes with a passive, whether it's an engineer, whether it's fortify, whether it's armor to boost up your survivability. It's all there for different, um, it's, it, it's all there. And I must say, the armor sets look great. This is one of the better looking games as far as you having arm, like your armor is concerned. Usually, your characters look a hot mess when you're trying to get a certain character. But not this game. This game does a good job of all of your character's outfits looking great no um disappointment as far as that is concerned you have various planets that you can go to and these planets are affected by weather some are hot cold rainy some low visibility and this affects the way you play it affects different weapons differently um 
man, they've 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 done so much, and they have so much compact into this game. You have a good variety of enemy types in the game. You have aliens of different forms. Some have more armor than others. Like you know, you have the ones that are camouflage. You have the ones that are tanks that take a lot of shots. You have the fodder, which are there just to bother you, but. If you don't take care of them, they can gang up on you and then cause a problem. You have the monstrosities in, in the game as well. You also have Terminator-like enemies. I love it. Literally feels like a Terminator movie. Um, it, it's great, man. I, I love the enemy types and the game will further bring us more, I'm assuming. Well, they have to to keep it going. So I can only imagine the, the enemy types that will be coming into this game. I hear that the game is going to merge also with Destiny as well. I have some of those concepts coming in. Can't wait for that. They're bringing in mechs. They're bringing in vehicles. I mean, this game is on par to be, to be one of the best online team shooters ever. If they can keep it up. They got to keep the content going. So let's talk about the graphics. I played this on the PC. Um, I'm using the 4070 Ti Super. I have not played it on the consoles, but I hear that the consoles don't look too hot. But on the PC, this game looks good. It looks good. The HDR is popping. The, the Everything is sharp. I have no complaints about the graphics. They are not the best graphics that I've seen, but we have to take in consideration the scope of the game and how much things are going on all at once all the explosions and the effects all of that listen they nailed it and i think the graphics are as good as they're going to be for the amount of activity that is going on on the screen so i have to give them high scores for the graphics for what they were able to achieve with the amount of things that are going on on the screen the sound is good everything booms and pops and they nailed it. I have no problems with that in the headset. The music is awesome while you're playing in the game. It puts you in the mood. You feel like a superhero. It feels like you're participating in a wide-scaled war. You don't feel alone in this. I, and I love the way they incorporate this feeling, especially when you're picking your missions and you see a bar saying, okay, this needs to be liberated, it's at 84%, and this is your contribution to the battle when you finish missions. Man, they do a good job of making you feel like one big army going out to these planets, getting the job done, and it makes you want to stay in the world to help other players and help everybody get the job done. The fun starts in this game, the further you go in difficulty. Crank up that difficulty as you level up. Crank up the difficulty because the game will be more enjoyable when you do that. These enemies are ruthless. A minority of people are complaining about the tank enemy in the game, but uh, tanks are fine. You gotta work together, find the weakness, bring the orbital drop, drop it on his head and let it go. This is one of them games where you will have a hard time playing and completing things by yourself unless you probably level up to the max and you really get real good. I'm sure it can be done. People's probably done it already, but I think that will be far and wide. I, you need a team to play this game, and I like that. You need teamwork to play this game, especially on harder difficulties. And the harder difficulty levels, in, impossible, hard, impossible, um, suicidal, hell dive, these are the levels that you want to play this game to really extract the most fun from this game, is those higher difficulty levels. That's where, that's where you will have the most fun and really crank up your fun factor, crank up the fun factor in this game. I have no complaints about the game. I only hope that they increase it with more DLC. They don't lay off of it. We, have, we need DLC. This game can go on and on and on. It really has long legs as long as the developers continue to develop for it. I hear that they're dropping mechs and vehicles, so that would be a riot. I don't know how that's going to work. Maybe you may drive around the map too fast, but having the mechs to go up against the big colossal creatures, I can only imagine. And imagine this. What if they implemented PvP 
while you're doing all of this. That'd be crazy. But for that, I think they would have to tighten up the movement of the characters. Now, the movements of the characters are a little bit stiff, but it's still it's stiff but good to go against AI, but not good enough for a PvP type of game. So they would have to smooth out that a little bit, make it a little a lot more smoother. So, do I recommend this game? You can probably tell I am gushing at the face after 30 plus hours in this game and I can really recommend this game for everybody that wants a challenge. If you don't want a challenge, don't play this game. It's not for you. But if you want a challenge, if you want a social aspect, if you want a game you can play with friends, come and do a couple of missions together and, and, and so forth, have fun. Friendly Fire Zone, so you have to watch what you're doing as well. This is the game for you. Get in, kill some stuff, that is it. It is that simple. And once you play it enough and you get the flow of the game, it's going to be so enjoyable for you, man. I, I can't get enough of this game. What a game that is on PC and PlayStation. I feel so sorry for Xbox players that are not able to experience this game on the console. This is a real big miss for you guys, man. And uh, I'm, I'm really, I really feel it for you guys that you can't play it at this time. Will it come to your console? I don't know. Because this is something that I think Sony should really hold on to. They have themselves a banger. They have it banger right here man thanks once again for watching this wasn't really a structured review it was just me talking about the game i may do more of these where i just talk about the game not too structured um so you can get a real authentic feel of what i'm thinking while i'm bringing this review to you so with that said peace be sure to hit the subscribe button the like button and the notification bell and i will see you on the next video and on the battlefield Hopefully, stay magical.